anything to say about that so for that i would i would have mind as in, i wouldn't want to answer that question but okay. i just want to say something about this okay you know Igbos in Ghana, Yoruba community in Ghana, it's not a bad thing for them to own a community here in Ghana. Okay. But the bad thing there is for them to... So what do you think is the way forward for things to be resolved so things can go back to normal? Oh my God. On YouTube. Even me at some point. You? Ah, uh, no, you now. Like, <laughs> what is this? But then, you know, there's a way you would distrust somebody and you continue to look and then you see that... Mostly Kumasi. I've lived in Ghana for 14 years. Yes. When a I'm many... I've been in Ghana for four. No, they go say you don't like Ibo now. No, no. You, do you think I hate Ibo? Oh, hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. No, I mean, that is for those that are not new here. But if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Lillian. And today, I have Mami Equia One of Africa. In fact, introduce yourself. <laughs> welcome to Lily's channel. Uh, you guys know me now. Mami Equia One of YouTube. Yes, Every other Mami Equia One of YouTube, you know what it is. Tanta. <laughs> So, thank you, Lily, for having me. I am UJTV. I have a YouTube channel, UJTV. So, thank you for having me here. Which one be? I have a YouTube channel, mm. Mommy. Everybody, they tell you, they know, no, no. <laughs> Everybody here, they know Mommy Equia. They know, they know Uju. Yes, now. Nah. They even know you as Uju Safe. Hallelujah. Mm. Anyways, welcome thank to my channel. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure to have you, my thank sister. You. For me, I didn't know you live in Ghana. I do. I didn't know. <laughs> so, how long have you been living in Ghana? Uh, I've lived in Ghana for 14 years. Yes. Where a I've many... been living in Ghana for 14 good years. 14 years in Ghana? Mm -hmm. Wow. No, honestly, I... Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know. Was it 2022 mm -hmm. or something? Mm -hmm. I think that was the first time I saw your channel. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I left a comment or you left a comment on mine or something. Okay. I thought maybe you were just. Um, yeah, I know you. I was. I thought maybe you used to live in Ghana or um, something. Okay. So how, time, how? What happened? As at that time, uh, we were in Ghana, so I left from Ghana to Nigeria. Okay. As at that time, so mm -hmm. when you saw me then, I was still in Nigeria. So I stayed in Nigeria for two years, then I came back. Oh, why? What yeah. happened? Uh, it's a whole lot that I don't want to discuss here. So it's okay. a whole lot here. <laughs> okay. But now you guys are back to oh, Ghana. Back from good. Ghana pa. <laughs> so you are Nigerian. Which part of Nigeria are you from? Okay, I'm from the eastern part of Nigeria. So I'm from Imo State. Mm. Idiato. 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 Mm -hmm. Let me pronounce that. Idiato. Idiato. Look at God. Please, no, my Igbo brothers, don't come for me. But mm. did I pronounce it well? Idiato. Oh, did well. Idiato. Amazing. Right? Yeah. Idiato local government. Don't, if don't I... Look it's so <laughs> good you. to have you. Thank wow. So why why did you uh, move to Ghana? Like, when you did? Why, what brought okay. you to Ghana? You know, Ghana as a country, even growing up mm. as, a, as a child, mm. to my teenage stage, I've been hearing about Ghana, 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 Ghana. And I was saying to myself, what is so special? What is so special about this country that you see a lot of people, I'm going to Ghana. In Nigeria, you see, as a then, mm. you see in Nigeria, they'll tell you, I'm going to Ghana. They go Ghana, you know? And what is in Ghana? Ah, you never go Ghana. That kind of thing. You'll be like, wondering, what is so special about Ghana? Someone introduced me to a particular business. Okay. Then I come down here to Ghana. Then I was coming initially to buy and go back. Mm. I came down here to Ghana to buy Kente. That was Kente. Oh, really? The Kente fabric, yeah. yeah. So someone, a friend, a very good friend of mine, and she's still in that business till today. She she introduced me to this business to buy kente and go distribute to people in Balogu markets. Wow. Yeah. So that's what I did then. So I, that was the first time I came to Ghana. So I came down here, bought the things. She gave me a supplier's number. I called the woman. We met and I bought. And okay. I went back. I came again. I bought and I went well, like, Ghana is so peaceful. The business here is booming. Okay. So why can't I just stay back? Mm, mm. You understand? Why can't I just stay back in this country and, you know, send things way built to those people that need okay. it? And instead of me coming and going, spending money, transportation coming and going, why can't I just mm. as in stay back here and do the way build to those people? You know, that was what made me stay back in Ghana and see today. I've not regretted staying back in Ghana. You know, Ghana is one country that is peaceful. The people here are welcoming. You understand? That's true. The people here are very, very welcoming. That is one thing I love about the Ghanaians. No matter where you come from, if you're Nigerian, if you're Kenyan, you're Ugandan, they'll welcome you regardless. 
so that was the reason why i decided to stay back here in ghana i love the country i mm. love everything about the country before you came you said you used to see people coming they, they would tell you they are going to ghana mm. they're going for different people's right mm. and then you were like ah what is in ghana mm -hmm. so finally you decided to visit that mm -hmm. very time that first day that you came to do your fabric business mm -hmm. What impression did you have about Ghana and the people? The impression I had about them is because I've always been hearing about Ghana, as mm. I told you. I've been hearing about people saying they are going to Ghana, the people there, the food, in fact, the culture. Mm. And that impression made me like, I need to go. Till I had this contact with this, my friend, that I've been doing this business for a very long time. Mm. So when I came down here to Ghana, the impression I had then, because to most Nigerians, mm. I wouldn't lie about this, I want to be very, very sincere. To mm. most Nigerians, Ghana is just like a second home to them. Okay. Yeah. Because if you think of a country to travel to, an African country to travel to, the country that comes to their mind is going to Ghana. Because why, why, it's an English, no, it's an English speaking country. They cannot okay. go to uh, Cotonou or Togo because they cannot converse in, in French. Mm. So they decided to like look for an English speaking country to go to. You know, the Cameroon border is also closer to Nigeria, but mm. they speak French, mm. but they also have the English speaking Cameroon yeah. there. But before you converse, the general language there is French. Mm. So they think of a country to migrate to or travel to for business mm. whereby they can converse with the locals even without struggling that's the reason why you see a lot of them are coming down here to ghana for business and for other things for tourism okay. so the impression i had then was coming to ghana to make to do business mm. and to also know more about the people of ghana and that same thing is just as it's connected me with the locals because the way we converse when it comes to business related mm. i knew a lot of things about business i met a lot of amazing amazing Ghanaians mm. here in ghana contrary to the belief that you moved to ghana to become a content creator can we hear that side like already you have told us why you came and when you came mm -hmm. i think back then youtube was not even a thing it wasn't yeah uh -huh. so what what do you have to say about that i didn't really i didn't i didn't really move to ghana for content creation you know co this content creation of the thing i just developed interest in it okay uh, i think that was i'm um, two years now on youtube okay yeah so it was even my younger sister that introduced me to youtube then she asked me and she can't you just start uh, creating youtube content I was like what is in youtube you are going to ghana talk about ghana you've been there then i was in nigeria we came back to nigeria then mm. she was mm. like talk about ghana you've been there you've lived there so why can't you talk about ghana i was like what do i want to say mm. then i started watching some videos of people talking about the experiences mm. in ghana even before i started seeing your video mm. i mm. think it was um two or three months before i wanted to come back to ghana okay again mm. not to recite mm. i just came back to ghana again for business exactly that was when i got hold of your video like ah, who is this lady she's mm. so bold <laughs> ah. i started watching your videos i started seeing the things you're doing i started like this video is giving me motivation to create more content about okay. ghana let me look at this lady's step and you know share, your own yeah, share my own experiences of living in ghana i started so it's not that i came to do youtube but youtube today i'm enjoying creating content about ghana today it's just like a thing a passion okay. to create mm. content mm. and today i am enjoying it okay. for the love of it i'm enjoying creating content about ghana um that is already cleared you're not in ghana because of content creation and all that okay so but why did you choose the style of content you are doing why not promoting your own country i mean nigeria why ghana See, I've gotten a lot of questions about, like, this kind of question. I've mm. gotten a lot from people, even my people from Nigeria. Ask me, why are you creating content mm. about this country? Why can't you just create content about Nigeria? Exactly. Do you know the reason why? Mm -mm. I reside in this country. Any country you reside in, if you see something good in that country, you talk about it. It is not that I am not seeing anything good in my home country to talk about, but mm. I am seeing something good here because I am a resident in this country. So being a resident in this country would make you say the things that you love about this country. Not in a very bad way mm -hmm. or not in a... Eh? I'm not trying to like make my country feel lesser. I'm bringing up Ghana. Mm -hmm. But I'm just trying to like compare the countries oh, that I am a Nigerian. I 
live they in this country. The, day, the comparison. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad thing. One of them looks mm-hmm. better than the rest. It's not I would like. I mean, I'm in Nigeria and living yeah. in Ghana. These are the things that I'm seeing mm-hmm. that are good. Okay. But when I am in my own countries, I don't get to see all these kind of things. I am mm-hmm. not saying it do, it's not there. It's not it's, there. It's there. Eh. It's but not there. But some now. of these things. There? No, like they have insurance. <laughs> we don't have it in Nigeria. So you to have yeah. an insurance card, you know you have to be working with the government. Is the, it only you have to be you working. have to working with the government oh to get it or pay an outrageous amount of money mm. for you to be able to get it. So when I talk about Ghana in this way, it mm. is not in the place of hate for my country. No. I am talking about Ghana because I reside here mm. and the things I am seeing I will, as in I'm shocked. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that oh that an Ghana, African country yeah an African Ghana can do this kind of things yeah. that things are really working in this country you know at least to an extent yeah to an extent Ghana I'm not saying not perfect, yeah I'm yeah. not saying it's a very it's the perfect destination mm-hmm. or an African country you could travel to or do anything they also have their ups and downs Ghana you know has it ups and yeah it, it does yes so I'm just talking about this based on my experience mm. so far being a Nigerian mm. living in this country now you were in Ghana before you left and then decide mm-hmm. to come back all right mm-hmm. have you noticed any changes in Ghana there's a lot of changes there's a lot of changes so all those things I've seen and and people are trooping in and out of Ghana every day mm. if you should visit the Katoka International Airport to see a lot of people a lot of them a lot of foreigners are coming in mm. to invest their money a lot you see the uh, I, they call them in, in Ghana, is it uh, Aburu and Obruni. Uh, Obruni. <laughs> the Obruni, the, the Obruni people are coming, they're coming here to enjoy Ghana. So why do you think Ghana is now the destination for tourists? Mm-hmm. Why? What, 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 why? So to me, I think the reason why Ghana is now a destination for tourists is because they preserve their culture. Ghana as a country is one country that's been able to hold on to their culture that people, when people hear about Ghana, what they think of is culture, mm, mm, mm. the fabrics the environment exactly place tourist attractions as in the tourist yeah, so attraction centers have been kept preserved exactly. just like when you go to uh, the cape coast castle mm. it's been kept for mm. each as in for years it is still being preserved till dates and that is the reason why you see a lot of people i'm talking about this i'm having goosebumps because yeah. you know this country is one country that knows how to keep things in order that attracts it to attract people to come and know more about the country like for instance the yeah, elmina castle mm. people are coming down here to come and know more about the history of how they're being sold out then and it's still preserved all those places have been preserved mm. if you go to osu castle you get to see the same thing mm. if you should go to the what that There's travel Mm-hmm. That one, that one, it, it has so much more. They knows how to preserve their culture and mm-hmm. let people know that this is how we, uh, this is how Ghanaians came to be. You know, okay. this is what we faced, we passed through here in Ghana. Mm-hmm. So that is the reason why I see a lot of people coming down here to Ghana because there are lots of tourist attraction centers you can visit and learn more about the culture of the blacks, learn more about the country. You know, but if Ghana sh- is not the only black. It's country. not. Yeah, it's not the only black country, but Why they have known. Choose? Okay, okay. They've have known a way, yes, yeah, to preserve that culture and make people feel like you need to come and visit yeah. here. You need to come to this country and visit this particular place. Exactly. And you see people booking their flights, coming down here. And there are some other places you go to in the northern region, the western region, mm. Kwewu, the mm. Kwewu festivals. Mm. You know, all those things are things they will ring into your ears that will make you want to come. Exactly. You know, so they'll keep on ringing into your ears that will make you want to come here and say, what is in this Kwewu? Let me go and see what is there. What is so special about Ghana? What is there? Why are people going there? Now, for instance, the 30 December. Mm, mm, mm. I've been seeing people talk, talk about the 30 December, 30 December. The life, in, the, the Ghana 30 December is fun. Yeah. And the black Americans are coming. The white people, they are coming. So you are, when you ask me this kind of question, I was like, this, all these things I've mentioned alone yeah. is the thing that Ghana knows how to preserve their culture. That's just it. They know how to preserve their culture, their country. Their, uh, should I say package? Package their country just, in a way. Yeah, they just... They just I don't think it's packaged. For me, I would just say they just know how to preserve it. To preserve it, mm. yeah. When it's packaged, it means putting in so much so effort. So much effort. To make something mm-hmm. preserved. This one. They it's preserve natural, it's natural, it's just yeah. there. I want to ask another question. Okay. As a Nigerian, there's this mindset that some Ghanaians have towards you as a Nigerian. Oh, the moment 
they see you especially online here what comes to mind is you are pretending mm. because you want them to give you the views you want to get the views do you have anything to say about that i have a lot to say but i'll just make it short as nigerians we all know nigerians nigerians we don't paint things we don't, we don't Ni nigerians are blunt mm. that is the reason why when you see a nigerian talk to you like they are insultive or they have been trying to be uh, they're trying to be arrogant mm. but they are just being blunt about a particular thing maybe you're doing something they'll tell you to your face you're doing this mm. so being a nigerian here i've gotten a lot of people they are pretending you don't love ghana like how can someone pretend for close to two years like you know you've been on, you've been on this content for a very long time so how can you pretend for one year two years three years four years five years and you're still being consistent but why do you think why do you think people think we are pretending why do you think so So to me i would think the reason why people think we are pretending is because you know that that nigerian stereotype mm. that stereotype that i've been attached to a lot of nigerians mm. when they see Ni when they when they hear the name nigeria they think all nigerians are yeah, corny yeah, yeah and ar they are arrogant, arrogant and, and yes so when they see that stereotype has been there mm. but i believe without that stereotype there are nigerians individually that once they want to do something once they are as they love something mm. they will keep on talking about that thing because they love it not mm. for money's sake or okay. trying to get money out of it mm. i've seen a lot of people create ghana Sorry. content mm. in the past and today where are they yeah because they are not consistent because you don't have the love for the country if you have a love and passion for a particular country you keep you on talking you'll get tired you'll you keep on tired. talking about it talking about it because you've seen the good side of this country and this country has in return blessed you in a positive way okay. so once you love a particular thing you talk about it so it's not about the money money is not everything you know you talk about it because you have interest in this country because you love mm. you genuinely love this country if you if you don't genuinely love a country there's no way you keep on talking for, about a country for five years two years three years <laughs> Because some people will do this for like two months, they are tired. Yeah. They are already tired. So if you genuinely love a country, you keep on talking about that country because you love that country. You've yes, dedicated sir. your time, mm. your your heart. Mm. You've given in fact, you've given your heart and your time to those countries. Mm. So that's the reason why you keep on talking about that. Not for the views, not for the money. Mm. Money set aside, but there is genuine love. You know, content creation is a thing mm -hmm. now. And people hear testimonies from Odemaya. Mm -hmm. Kojo Shadon, uh, Mark Angel, and the rest, <laughs> how they are making millions from YouTube. So, is that the same thing with you? How many houses have you built? How many houses? Let, let me just laugh about it. How many houses? <laughs> you would have asked me how many huts. <laughs> <laughs> how many because, uh, private jets? See, content creation, a lot mm. of people make money from it, but okay. it's not like you think it is. Mm -hmm. You know, people will look at you and say, You're making money. When they are calling this money, it will, it will sound as if you're making millions as of dollars. Me that I'm here, I'm not even made up to one thousand dollar. <laughs> like from the since the beginning. Since the, the beginning, I'm not even made up to one thousand. Are you for real? No, seriously. No, seriously, I'm not made up to one thousand really? dollar. Like since the beginning, since you got monetized. One thousand dollar. Are you for even real? Even hundred dollar, you struggle to get it. Really? Mm. Okay. No, this Let is me very very surprise. sincere. Come on, I was there. I used to be. No, there. very very sincere. I've not and this is even the hundred dollar. Making a lot, but then. But people will look at you that oh, you're making money. Mm. You're making money out of this content. You're doing so well, but it doesn't work that way. You know. You're building. It doesn't. You're you keep. Yeah, growing. you keep on growing. But the man has grown to that stage that mm. he can now employ people to work for him. You know. Exactly. But as a struggling content, I'm still struggling. I'm still crawling. Not even struggling. I'm crawling. Yeah, oh, we are <laughs> because, still, yeah. We are so we are not making money out of this. Mm. Uh, we are just Much doing it. Like yeah. That. Not much as not uh, we are making money, but not mm. much. You know, there are times even in two months you're not you've not even gotten to hundred dollar. Hundred, really yeah. Exactly. It's it's most times it's frustrating, but because of the love you have for the content, yeah, you, you keep stop. pushing. Yeah, keep yeah. Pushing you keep pushing. Today. One day to favor you, like mm. the likes of Wodemaya, Mark Angel from Nigeria, mm. Tayo, I know, and the and a lot. Yeah, I, I know Tayo back then when he just started. Uh, he even shared even this video. Maya. Yeah. So that's it. It's not like I know them when they just started, but I know I, I at some point on you the hear story, their story. I, yeah. Yes. So now that you're now living permanently in Ghana, do you have your papers here, re legitimately in Ghana? See, me living in Ghana. If to live in Ghana here, you have yes. to have your documents ready okay. because to avoid someone budging into your house or asking you, or you don't have your papers, mm. you don't have your uh, Ghana card, and to get those Ghana card, not be small money. It's expensive. <laughs> it's very expensive to get a resident permit. Is expensive it's not small money you have to pay a lot of money to get and it's renewable mm. it's not something you can get permanently mm. you know 
So it's something you renew every year. So I have my documents. Your document for you to have been here. For yeah, that for that long, I have my business woman. Yeah, yeah, so I should have my document. So welcome to okay. Ghana, and I hope you are enjoying yourself here. Mm -hmm. Now, because you you you've lived in Nigeria as a Nigerian, mm -hmm. now you're in Ghana. How expensive is Ghana compared to Nigeria? Uh, to be very sincere with you, um, living in Nigeria is quite cheaper. Okay. Compared to living in Ghana. In terms of what? In terms of rent, okay. in terms of feeding, mm. uh, transportation, a lot. Right now in Ghana, the Uber there, the taxis is expensive. Yeah, I can't remember the last time I because entered Uber. You want to take a taxi, they'll be mm. calling most times just from here to maybe you want to go to Kwame Nkrumah Mosilion. Mm. Uh, 50 cities. I can't cities, remember the last time I, I do. So I, uh, I think right now they have the boats. So people can just book online and. Mm. go i think it's a bit cheaper compared to the taxes like mm. the normal taxes we see here in ghana so the cost of living here in ghana is quite high because i think when you calculate it to your nera the nera rates you <laughs> look at it on your head that oh, this money plenty <laughs> but if you don't calculate it for the locals it's not expensive it's, yeah, for them yeah because it's their money it's know, a, yeah, yeah that's their currency but for we foreigners here mm. when we want to get things in ghana here when we press in our yeah. brain, it's telling us this thing is very expensive. Ah. So we don't have any choice than to get it. Exactly. We have to, you know, mm. we are living here in Ghana, you have to. But the cost of living here in Ghana is high for mm. we foreigners. Mm. I'm not talking about the locals, but yeah. we that are foreigners is quite expensive for us. You've been here for this long. Mm. Now you you have, you, you patronize the education sector because mm -hmm. of course you have mm -hmm. kids mm -hmm. and then the health mm -hmm. and of course the security sector, mm -hmm. the bank Banking. Yeah. I believe you have a bank account yeah. in Ghana because, of yeah. course, your business. Mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite of all? This, but this, this you are putting me in a tight corner. Mm. <laughs> I need to, can I pick two? What? No. Okay, the favorite of all health. You know, health first. Really, health, health. is your favorite. See. The health, the health, see okay. the health. Why? Because you know, any little thing you have to use your health insurance now. You go, mm. so we as humans, we we are prone to get sick. Mm. You know, at any given time, and if you don't have this conducive, uh, this conducive healthcare mm. or quality mm. healthcare mm. service, how would you get attended to? You know, yeah. so having this quality healthcare uh, services here in Ghana, it means a lot to me because most times you have a headache, you have to see the doctor, yeah. and your health insurance, most of them uh, covers most of the bills. Honestly, so honestly. it's a whole, it's a whole relief as a foreigner, mm. and I'm super grateful that I am enjoying from this uh thing in ghana mm. i'm not I'm, I'm i'm not i'm not someone that is not grateful i'm, I'm very very grateful, grateful that and as a foreigner i'm experiencing this you yeah, know yeah i think we are appreciating this we are exactly yeah. about it because we don't have that, that is it you understand so when we are talking about it it's not like we are saying that to make anybody feel good. No. It's because it's new to us. Like, wow. Me in my home country, I don't have health insurance yeah, card. Yeah, yeah. Except you work with some big companies. Big company, yeah. So poor people don't benefit anything. See? So, Sincerely, yeah. Okay, so health is your favorite. Mm -hmm. I can have this up. You can give me this. Come on, I can talk about it. Uh -huh. So you, you, you lived and schooled in Nigeria, yeah. you know, back, did everything yes. before coming, coming to Ghana. Yeah. So looking at the secondary schools in Ghana and back home. I'm not talking about the private schools. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say about this? Yeah, if I should go deeper. Mm. The, <laughs> I don't want to go, go deeper. Boss. I will go boss, <laughs> but being a Nigerian and seeing the educational system here in Ghana, it's something very unique. It's mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. Made it look so conducive, so attractive. attractive, so perfect for the people. The environment who are you who are you if you had to vote who are you going to vote if, for i don't know anybody so i don't know who is even going <laughs> i don't know any part as in, i'm not putting interest in it i don't know the political parties so who am i going to vote for yeah. all right so you've been here for this long and all that you used to talk about the food the ghana food <laughs> which one now is your favorite Ghanaian food ah i've always been saying it on my channel that yeah. i'm addicted to the Ghanaian cuisine yeah and my favorite of them all is the fufu with the light soup you know are you trying I, that's I, my food really? i don't understand why <laughs> you, you don't know why you can't be say with the like the same why is that I food think, i feel just respect it because you first me conquer <laughs> <laughs> they are punchy so i'm so much in love with the food the food mm. is just as in the the taste how the as in the blend of the natural spices exactly everything is just ah, 
I don't know. Let me just let me not make your your subscriber salivate on this, <laughs> on, this, on this video, so you don't gonna start looking for fufu and light soup. But it's just so unique. It's just so tasty. Okay. The taste is just okay. I don't know how to explain it, but you need to mm. come and try it. If, you, okay. if you've not tried it, just come down here to Ghana and have a taste. So we are going deeper a little. Mm. Um, feel free to answer it if you want to. Now there's this whole thing online. For me, I think it's online because I've not heard on any radio or TV station talking about okay. this. But on YouTube here, you see videos of people talking, including me. I've talked about the Igbo, uh, the Yoruba community in Ghana. in Ghana. So, what do you have to say about the Igbo? Is it invention, the invention of Igbos and Yorubas in Ghana, forming communities and kingdoms and all that? Do you have anything to say about that? So for that, I would, I would have mind as in, I wouldn't want to answer that question but okay. i just want to say something about this okay you know Igbos in ghana yoruba community in ghana it's not a bad thing for them to own a community here in ghana okay. but the bad thing there is for them to start claiming that they are Ghanaians or start having clash with the Ghanaians that i want mm. to take this land that this land belongs to us or they'll go to a particular community and say okay this particular community belongs to the us. Igbo community or this particular community belongs to the Yoruba community. Mm. That is what I am not in support of and I don't like that. Okay. If they are doing that, I don't know if they are doing that, but if they are doing that, I don't like But for them to gather and, uh, you know, have a meeting, the Igbo community, mm. it's not a bad thing okay. that you miss your brother in this country, you sat down, let's have this meeting so that once something happens to your brother here, mm. you can be able to know how to take your brother back home. If they are sick or peradventure, someone lost their lives here, mm. they can know how to take the person back home. That is the, the, the sole aim mm. of having these communities in, in Ghana, not just in Ghana, they are all over the, the different African even countries. In <laughs> even, even in Nigeria. Yeah. Even in Lagos, Nigeria. They yeah. have the Igbo people in Lagos. Mm. They have like, their community in Lagos. Mm. If they don't stay in the eastern part of Nigeria, if they're in like, the, the western part, the northern uh, side of Nigeria, they have their communities of Igbo people. Mm. Whereby if they have any issues, they go to their self or they want to help their self in mm. terms of business, in terms of anything mm. they will do. But what I would not want is for them to say, okay, this particular region in Ghana belongs to us. Or for them to, to say they are Ghanaian. They are Ghanaians. How, yeah, it's not, how can you be Ghanaian? You cannot be a Ghanaian now. You are an Igbo person from Nigeria. You cannot be a Ghanaian. Even if you're married to a Ghanaian, still yet, single-handedly, you yourself, you know you're, you're Nigerian, mm. but you are married to a Ghanaian. So you can't call yourself a Ghanaian because you're married to a Ghanaian. Mm. You are just a Nigerian married to a Ghanaian. Say, especially the men. Especially the men. They will say, oh, I'm not a Ghanaian because I'm married to a, a, a Ghanaian. No. Mm. It's only your children that are tied to mm. the, the, the country because you give birth them there, they have the parents that are Ghanaians. Mm. Only your children that can be able to say, I'm a Ghanaian because my mom is a Ghanaian or because I was born here in mm. Ghana. Mm. But you as a Nigerian getting married to a Ghanaian person, you can't come out and say I'm a Ghanaian unless you decide to legalize it. Mm. You know, okay. get the citizenship that, oh yes, I am married to a Ghanaian and which of which it takes time. It's not something you can get today, tomorrow. Mm. You have to stay for a very longer period of time here in Ghana, 14 years be able to speak three before you can be able to get the ghana citizenship card yeah you know <laughs> no you can talk if the nigerians yeah. here in ghana are doing something that's not good mm. please let it calm down reduce it or go back to your country because it's making the the locals get angry they and get tired, agitated you know? and mm. tired of seeing this particular country people doing the same thing mm. in this country you know there will be one day they will get tired and it will, it will result to something bad right. and of which we are not praying for. If you go to South Africa today, the xenophobic attack in South Africa is mm. a whole lot. Mm. Attacking Nigerians, in fact, not just even Nigerians, even Africans. I've seen mm. uh, a, a South African man send me the Ghanaian flag. When? I, I made a video about it on my channel. Send me the Ghanaian flag. It means they don't want Africans in their country. So if we should continue this way, it will result to something that we can't be able to come mm. together as Africans and live and coexist without problems. But don't you think um, Nigerians should just on their own leave the country? Don't if they want to leave, they can leave. But like to countries me, that uh, they, they already let you know that you're not welcome. Mm, that is just, if, if in a country, you, you notice that you have been attacked mm. physically, 
verbally mm -hmm. anywhere you go to mm -hmm. when they see you as nigerian they'll call you kwasia nigerians there bad people mm -hmm. you know there are times you walk if 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 it happens constantly my brother my sister it's time, you, it's time for you to leave and they I don't want you there anymore south you know africa is that south africa they are even doing their own uh, they physically they, 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 they were attacking they physically they they there that they don't want to see you mm -hmm. so as a nigerian any country you are just pipe that's why you some nigerians in different african countries that ask them, are you a nigerian they would deny because they wouldn't want to be attacked. They wouldn't want to be spat well, on. Can one even deny being in Nigeria? There are a lot of Nigerians that deny, but me, I cannot no, deny. Like, I can't I deny. I, I, I <laughs> because even same. from my accent, you know I'm a Nigerian. Yeah. From my accent or the way I look, uh, uh. you know that this person is a Nigerian. You can't, you can't hide it. Mm. The reason I don't hide my own is because I want to let people know that represent, it's not Yeah, represent your country yeah. in a good way. Mm. I'm Nigerian. But let them know you that, you yes. Give chance and decide for yourself. So our viewers out there, so, tell them about your YouTube channel. You need to check her out, guys. UJTV. So guys, you can check out my YouTube channel, UJTV. And please, if you don't subscribe to this channel, subscribe to this channel. Let this video go viral. Because yeah. bring She's this content here. a very here. strong woman. Like, for the kind of <laughs> Of attacks that uh, UJ have gone to oh my god on YouTube. Even me at some point, you. I didn't ah, know you now. Like, what is this? But then you know, there's a way you would distrust somebody, and you continue to look, and then you see that the energy didn't change. They are there. <laughs> so at, at this point, you just know that this is who they are, and this is it. I didn't. I used to feel like mm, she's she's you know doing too much, but she keep doing her thing. She's real. Okay, so please check just out. Just like, okay. just like you're real too. You yeah, know, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of, a lot of people look up. I'm not real. Though. No, come on, you are because for you to be to be <laughs> okay. consistent, I've seen you take bullets for Ghanaians. I've seen you yeah, gotten yeah, okay. some hate as in hate words, I've you know, a lot I've threads yeah. and a lot, but you still stand me. still. Mm. See today, me. it's not easy creating Ghana as a Nigerian creator talking about Ghana. Yeah. You get to see a lot of people talking about you in a mm. negative way. And still yet regardless, you're still here. I remember there was a day I got attacked like that at someone's live stream and you jumped in quickly. Okay. You, me and you rescued me because it's as if the whole of that group, everybody would there were all about close you. Close to a hundred Nigerians more than coming at me. And what and is my offense that I'm not promoting? What am I going to promote in Nigeria? I don't know. Show me one thing. Make I okay. We do the train station in Kenya. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that one. If I if I feel like it, maybe any day I go to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. If I if I have the mind to mm -hmm. carry this my camera and enter Lagos. But Nigeria as a country is a very beautiful country, no doubt. Beautiful it in is. sense of no, it's beautiful in its own way. Yeah, Enugu State. Yeah, yeah. Me, yeah. I have my own. There's yeah, some places you go to in beauty. Nigeria. You see, Enugu State. no Enugu, Enugu State is calm. Is beautiful. It's calm. And then cross river. Not about camo i'm talking no, about beautiful, beautiful landscape yeah mm -hmm. then cross river state where mm -hmm. i come from not because go I'm to calabar it's beautiful and then plateau state uh -huh. but for me when i get to lagos i just i, I forsake so <laughs> lagos I, is a very busy yeah, place it makes me sad. like i don't lagos like is very busy that's why i couldn't live in kumasi because it's busy yeah i can't stand it so you've been around for long how where and where have you traveled to in ghana i've traveled to kumasi mostly kumasi, kumasi. i'm not yeah just kumasi akra kumasi okay, akra for your for my business okay yeah. so do you still do your now now that you now live in ghana permanent you do your youtube videos I, do you still have time for your business i do i do i mean i mean a bonga business lady. Yeah, <laughs> because you. Can I tell you the other time? When you were I still do my business. I don't trust. It's not this your trip. You travel to every corner of Africa. Do I your still, business. I still you do my business. Say, you're traveling for you too. Anyways, I you're still doing do my well. business. Yeah, thank you. Keep, keep going, okay? On thank YouTube. You. Thank um, you. Um, I think it's just time. Um, our audience will get to understand us yeah. more. It's not every Nigerian that is in the habit of looking down on. Mm. Is this on cultured ones? On cultured this ones, one yes broken toxic home like where mama pa, mama and papa are <laughs> <laughs> but the ones that are well yeah, cultural they don't look down on any country they just they don't, see who, who they, to look down? they accept them for who they are yeah who even look at, and another thing is they don't know you know they don't know ghana no so a lot of people have not been there yeah they think because uh, uh, ghana is african and that's why if they were ordinary they Ghana, know that Ghana, not Ghana of yesterday, that would make me laugh. See, Ghana is developed to forget. Ghana is a very nice I mean, country. Ghana is just like that woman that gives that family that just gives birth to few number of kids, kids, and, and not show it them, properly. Not, show them. not be like the one when go born at one thousand. You know, born. They take pride <laughs> in giving birth. 
<laughs> me, I'm ready now. My God, God have mercy. When they come, we they, ah. we go drag each other. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You. Mm? Um, you guys, please check her out. Okay, let's let's um be there for one another. Uju is not a bad person. Okay, mami kuya, even have a mami kwa one. Do you speak the the local dialect? The worst part of it is that I can't even speak. This, this, is, this is where the Igbo That is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, what am I saying? No, I'm, I'm wrong. Igbo is learned. No, we know Igbo learns, but for Ooh. business. No, it's not nah, Igbo business a language. Man, the other day at um, mm. where I went to get something, and she, he was, he was speaking to me. I told him, Oga, you know yeah. what? You are Igbo. Yeah. He was trying to deny. I said, No, you are from Enugu State. <laughs> You know, I have a way of knowing. You know now. You know how we used to yeah. me and me and me and your people. How I used to put eye on Ibo people. <laughs> and they put eye. No, they go say you don't like Ibo now. No, no. You, do you think I hate Ibo? No, you don't. No, I'm I, I feel person. like I disagree a lot with some with things Ibo. they do. Yeah. yeah, I don't like dominary behavior. No, even me as an Ibo person, there's some yeah. things you, that my people understand? do that. Yeah, yeah I don't like. Regardless, I'm an Ibo girl. Exactly. Still love. But there's nothing you can do. You yeah. don't say me. Oh, um. Um, the when I was new on YouTube, I was struggling. I was pregnant with Wendy. Mm. I had praise, and I, I, nobody knew what I was going through. Mm -hmm. But um, there's this pastor in Senegal. Mm. Mm -hmm. She's Igbo. She's from Abia. Wow. This woman placed me on salary every month. Wow. She have not met me before. I have not asked her for her. Just imagine. I've never come online to say ma. But Help me. every month. I wow. could receive a lot from her. She's no, Igbo. No, Igbo people are nice people, though. Her sort and yeah. culture, the yeah. lady that... I, I don't know what to say in this life wow. about her. She's partly Igbo and also Cameroonian. Ooh. She's been... They have a lot of Igbos. I can't begin to mention them. But I have... I'm comfortable with them. I have Sarah mm. Oli, who is who happened to be my party party. Like, but it still doesn't stop me from... Taking note of, of things well, yeah. I don't like. I just don't like the fact that um, some of the people feel like they are the best. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I don't hate okay. Igbos, okay? No, Igbos are nice people. Igbo. 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 Um, and I make Kenegi. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on the channel. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Okay. God bless you. Enjoy your stay in Ghana and continue to be a good ambassador. Ooh. One Nigerian behaving well means That's a lot. A to lot, me. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having you me. You guys, don't forget to check her out. I'm going to tag her on this post. And I hope that you did enjoy this video. As I will see you in my next one. Mami Ekuya. Tell them. Bye. Bye, bye. Did I even pronounce your name well? Mami Ekuya. Ekuya. Mami Ekuya. Mami Ekuya. Mm-hmm. She never came. <laughs>